Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and today we're going to uh, put the uh, Samsung Gear S2 against the uh, Garmin Phoenix 3 HR in a walking test over a set a measured distance to see which has the most accurate GPS. So, let's take a look at it now. I'm going to do a uh, comparison test between the, uh, the, the Garmin Phoenix 3 HR and the Samsung Gear S2. 3G. Um, I'm going to walk a uh, two miles. I've measured out with the car an exact two miles, and we're going to see what the difference is in terms of uh, the GPS recording, your distance, um, your heart rate, and uh, calories burned during that period. Um, so uh, we'll uh, take a look at it now. All right, a quick check. The um, the Phoenix. Difference in speed, you see, 2.2 .2 miles per hour versus 2.9 on the Phoenix. Um, let's see, heart rate 91 on the Samsung. Ninety, I think, on the, the Phoenix. So that's close. Distance so far, 0.24. Um, that's like 0.23 so there's a slight difference already all right so we're approaching the uh, mile mark it's pretty much uh, is a mile there so um, as you can see 1.1 to 1.01 the uh, the Garmin is more accurate there um, so we'll uh, head back for the, uh, the other part of the mile. Um, let's see, heart rate 100 on the uh, Samsung. Um, one thing I do like, the, the Garmin does have a quite, quite good representation of a, of a map like that. Um, showing you, I mean, it's good if you want to retrace your route. That's pretty much it, I suppose. Uh, the Samsung um, does plot it on a uh, on a street map. You got to go to the uh, maps. And it'll show you on the on the maps application. And it'll find your location. You know, which is good. All right, so let's see, 92, 93. So the heart rate is pretty bang on for each one. Pretty close. So, right, let's continue on. Okay, so, finished the two miles. Looking at the, um, the Garmin, we're looking at uh, 2.01 miles. Um, time was 40 minutes, 28 seconds. Average speed, three miles per hour. Calories, 222. Average heart rate was 96. The max was 126. It uh, gives you information uh, ascent 95 feet, descent 82 feet. Which is strange because I started and stopped at the same place. That so should be breakout even, but uh, there you go. Um, so that's uh, all that information. Let's have a look at the, uh, the gear. All right, so that says uh, walking 39 minutes, 2.17 miles. So that was. Uh, just under 10, uh, under 10 percent uh, over 212 calories compared to 222 um, the average speed was three compared 3.3 compared to three max heart rate was 115 beats per minute and it does do a good summary on a uh, on a map there look as well which is quite nice with the streets so that's it's ideal for street walking yeah, it's a shame it doesn't say uh, what your, I, I can't find what the average is there. But max is 115 compared to 126 on the Garmin. Um, distance wise, this was about, uh, say, 18% over the, the gear S2. Um, the Phoenix was bang on. So the Garmin Phoenix 3 HR certainly uh, provided the more accurate GPS measurement test um, compared to the uh, Samsung Gear S2 here. 
Um, all the rest of the information seemed pretty pretty comparable, um, but uh, if accuracy uh, of distance is important to you, then uh, I think uh, uh, the, the Phoenix 3R is perhaps the, the way to, to go there. Also, I like how it uh, has a lot of information on the screen, um, uh, including the uh, uh, the map, albeit uh, it's uh, just one for retracing your steps. Whilst the Samsung Gear S2 has a nice map, but it's uh, uh, shown after your, your workout. So, But anyway, if you uh, like my video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Bye now.